You know, what makes my loyal customers loyal? What are, the, what are the commonalities? What are the fluid and the time sort of dimensions of loyalty to my business? What do my best salespeople do that everyone else doesn't, right? That's something everybody would love to know. What's causing all these product returns? What assumptions do I have about my industry that just aren't true? I mean, you know, you guys talk to business people like I do all the time, and I think they all have these little paradigms that, you know, well, this is the truth in my business, and, you know, my industry operates this way. But what if some of those things aren't true? So now we have the capability, and this is where the excitement comes in, and we have the capability now to actually begin to answer a lot of these questions that we just simply never could have done before because it would have required too much effort, too many uh, kind of monks by candlelight, you know, with quill pens to try and figure out the answer to these things, and uh, it's simply not possible. But there's also a lot of confusion around what big data is. Dan Ariely says it's like teenage sex. He says, everyone talks about it. Nobody really knows how to do it. Everyone thinks everyone else is doing it, so everyone claims they're doing it, right? <laughs> exactly like teenage sex. And it's so true. The statistics around it are kind of amazing. You know, 64% of organizations right now, today, are either investing or planning to invest in big data in, uh, in 20, in, well, it was 58% in 2012. So you can see the rate at which this is growing, this investment. Estimated in 2013, $34 billion is going to be spent on this. But here's the shocking part. 50% of executives surveyed, especially in retail, don't know what big data is.